So in this video, let us have a look at the uh, properties class where we can store properties in the memory of the script. So here I have created a uh, folder in my Google Drive and there I have created a sheet called user property. And there is a value here in B2 cell. I'm going to delete that. I have a menu item here and it says print user property. It's going to print it. Now, see what happens when I close this sheet and I reopen that sheet, I delete it and I wait for the menu to appear and I click on print property. Still that value is retained in the memory, right? This is useful if you want to uh, read the value that you stored last time the script was open. Now, let me just give a sample. I'll change it to one, two, three. And now I'm going to print user property method. I'm just going to run that. So now the value has changed to one, two, three. I'll come back here, delete the value, print the value one, two, three, right? Now I reopen my file, wait for the menu to appear and I print it. So let us see how, how the code works here. I'll explain all the code blocks and uh, this is the line that gives us access to the user properties variable which calls property service dot get user properties. Similarly, we have script properties. User properties specific to the user who is logged in, script properties specific to the script. Although these are deprecated, as we can see here deprecated. Uh, so according to the document, these are deprecated methods, but it still works. Uh, in some future version, it might stop working, right? and they are saying this class is deprecated should not be used but however it is working right now so I'm going to use it so first we have on open method which is just adding the menu and that's how this method is adding this particular menu over here then we have uh, print user property which is we are going to set the value uh, of this property which is called my property to one, two, three, and we're going to write it into the Google Sheet. This is essentially which is called from the menu over here. So if you go to Setup menu, you go to Print User Property, and when I click on this, this is the particular method which is getting called. In that method, we're setting the value and just printing it. Right? This is for the demo purpose. So I have uh, Reset, which is, I feel it is sometimes useful while you're debugging, but I'm not using this method. Sometimes you can you want to test the method then you have a reset method which is very useful Then we have set and get methods one is a set latest property value and whatever value I pass into that it is going to set uh, The property value to that and return true right and get is going to again uh, Set the give me the latest value of this so that's all the code that there is and I'm going to uh, put this code a uh, link to the uh, to the code on the description so hope this video helps you in uh, some of the projects where you want to retain uh, some variable value from one session to another session thank you for watching and have a great day